Welcome, welcome to the doctors. Today we're gonna to teach you about the body systems. Today we're gonna to learn about the muscular system. So as Erica's doing bicep curls, this muscle, her biceps contracting while her tricep is extending, which is creating little tears in the muscle fibers, which makes her be able to lift bigger weights. That was a 10 pounder. Look at that muscle gain. Maybe a little 15. Oh, yeah. Look at that bicep. This is a bicep curl. It's a red. Oh, oh can oh, she lift 20. this one? Oh, yeah. It's all for muscles. All right, today we're talking about the skeletal system, which is made of your bones. And inside your bones, your arm bone at least, you have a hollow space, which is where bone marrow travels, and bone marrow is what creates the red blood cells, right? Yeah. Right. All right. And if you're unlucky, like Molly here, she broke her arm. So what you do is they put a cast on, and they place it, and it eventually will heal your bone. Because the red blood cells will go to the bone. And that's all. Now we're talking about the endocrine system. Here is Mr. Schofield. Mr. Schofield gets all the ladies' hormones running, especially estrogen, which is what it, the female hormone is. And then you got the male system, but I don't think he's going to turn them on, which is testosterone. We're catching back up with our guest star, Mr. Gadian, doctor. And, uh... We're checking reflexes right now with the sensory, nervous. with the nervous system. nervous system. So show us how this goes. Ow. Oh my God! Oh, what is she? She has a pretty nice nervous system. <laughs> that works. <laughs> we have to make a video. Oh. Yeah, Erica. Woohoo! So why do you have the light on your head? Yeah, Erica, you go. You seem a little out of breath. You might need to use your inhaler. Now this inhaler is helping her lungs and her airway expand so she can get more oxygen throughout her body and help her heart slow down. Looks like it worked. Way to go, Dr. Vani. No problem. The reproductive system. We need our goggles for this one. I have here the female egg. And I have here the male sperm. <laughs> When fertilization occurs, this is what happens. The sperm, bunch of sperms, fight towards it, and only the lucky one fertilizes the egg. <laughs> the egg accepts it, which then creates the baby, which will then is a zygote. zygote. And eventually form into a baby. baby. But you see right now, it's definitely not processed. <laughs> anyway... That's all we got for the doctors. Thanks. We're back, and we are now talking about the circulatory system. So the blood flows from the right atrium down to your right ventricle, back to your lungs, which will replenish the blood with your oxygen. Then the blood will come back through your left atrium, down to your left ventricle, and then out to your body parts. Now. We will watch as Dr. Molly does Erica's blood pressure. She's listening for Erica's heartbeat when she can hear it and then when she cannot hear it. A healthy blood pressure is. Pretty healthy. 122 over 80. Nice no. work. And we're back, and today we are talking about the digestive system. This is Rhonda, our patient. And so Rhonda ate some marshmallows about five minutes ago, and it started in her mouth, and the enzymes in there digested it in her saliva, and then it went down her esophagus into the stomach. 
where there are more enzymes that help break it down even to smaller particles that I can go into the small intestine. Once it's in there, what the body needs is absorbed into the bloodstream and then it goes through the large intestine into the rectum where it is waited to be released and it's released into waste. All right. That's the digestive system. means all the colors are being absorbed and purple is the only color being reflected back into my cones which see color in the eyes. And as we walked out from the dark into the light, our, what are they called? Our pupils? Pupils. Adjusted in size. Mm -hmm. Alright. And his shorts are red so all of the colors are Except drawn. red. And red is coming back at us. See you later. Adios. Sensories. Except our sense. I mean, the sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as Erica and Allison are smelling that, their olfactory bulbs are sending messages to the brain, which interprets either it as a good or bad smell, and that it's a good perfume smell. is definitely a good smell. Thanks, guest star perfume. See you later. Again. Continuing with the senses, now we're talking about the sense of hearing. I will demonstrate something, but she will not be able to hear me because she's closing off the ear holes. The eardrums. The no eardrums. vibration. Oh. Holly, you need to stop doing that. You need to listen to me and do this. She didn't hear me. Shoot. about the sense of touch and there are three types of receptors in your skin. They're called the cutaneous receptors and the first one is temperature, so that light is hot. Now if I were to punch Erica, it's pain and a handshake, be pressure on her hands. And there's receptors that send that to the brain. The first, the tip of the tongue is sweet. The side of the mouth, the left side is uh, bitter. Definitely bitter. Both sides is bitter, and the back is salty. We just had an almond. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, they just. Okay. Yeah. Now we're gonna ask our guest star, Kyle. What are the five senses? Tongue? No, uh, uh, five senses. Five senses, like. Touch. Taste. Touch, taste. Um, smell, hear, and see. Thank nice. you. That's all five. Woo! All right. Have a great day. Adios.